guys, Country Kid here. Um, today we're going to talk about what it's like to bow hunt and steps to get a good, nice sized deer. Now today I'm just white tail hunting and on my own plot. So um, today uh, I'm just regular hunting like I normally do. So um, if, if I am too quiet on the camera, please tell me. But I, I apologize for that, but I just got to be quiet when I'm hunting. So, um, first step is you got to not draw the deer out, but you got to kind of get it worked into a plot, or get into an area where you, it's good to shoot. Now, normally a food plot is really good, but you can also um, hunt on just regular ground, but it's a lot harder to get a clear shot. So, what I do is I just like sit in a plot with a blind. Here, here I'll see if I can get a picture of it. Right, that's where that's where I'm hunting. This is my this is my plot and I'm just in my blind. So um I will first step is if a deer comes out, I have to immediately range it with my range finder, find out how far it is. If it's in my range, I um I have to get ready. And what you do to get ready is you put your arrow and your bow, all this other stuff, and um you get ready to shoot because a lot of these things can change in like an instant and with when bow hunting everything has to be exactly right the wind has to be right the um the poundage has to be right the angle has to be right everything so when they're when i'm bow hunting like this right now this is everything because anything can go wrong at this point like a deer could come out and see me and spook and ruin my deer hunt so i want to be quiet and like careful and so what you do is you when you find a good deer you have to figure out how to get it into a spot where it's a good shoot and with a bow you always got you always want to get a good shoot so when it's in my range right now um i always make sure it's broadside i don't try to shoot in the in the neck or anything like that but I always want to make a good clean shot that won't make the deer suffer and get a good clean shoot so um right now there is nothing in my plot yet but I will tell you if there's something in my plot but um this video is gonna be cut short so um I will just deal with all that stuff but on my way in I saw Three deer, and the way you, and the way you want to get those out of your way without spooking them is what you do is if they're looking at you, don't move and look somewhere else, and then stay at that spot until they move their head or put their head down. Then as quickly as you can, you get out of their sight, like behind a tree or duck down the grass, one or the other. And all the time, you got to be cautious. If there's even one deer, it can ruin your whole hunt if you if you mess that up so you always got to be like extremely careful what's around you and what to do now um like okay so the steps to get a deer are like i just told you but um they there's a whole other more complicated thing once you get the deer so let's just say you shot a nice book it runs 20 yards drops you got to gut it while it's there Put it in a transporting device, whether it's your truck or your four-wheeler or anything like that. You gotta take it back to your this place that you're gonna put it up. You gotta hang it, and by hang I mean like getting ready to skin it and do all that other stuff. And people who will watch this, who are hunting people, you'll know what this is. You always got to um, keep safety when you're hunting, hanging, gutting, everything. So, like, what I always like to do is I like to kind of, I don't know, make it, make it a quick thing out of it so I don't spend a long time. But I also take my time and make sure that I get everything right. Because if I don't, it could spoil the, the deer meat. Um, it could attract predators and scavengers. And we don't want that to happen. So, uh, oh, oh, by the way, sorry, I keep darting my eyes off on hunting and I'm just trying to figure out what the heck is happening. So anyway, um, 
that's all the steps you need to know. And if you are watching this, please leave a big subscribe button and consider subscribing to Country Kid right here. And um, keep content keep watching these continuous videos videos. And I'm sorry that it's been so long. It's just I haven't had much to talk about. And now I'm ball hunting and everything's going good. So, all right. This is Country Kid, and um, I guess that's it. So, I will tell you if I get a um, I'll tell you if I get a deer or get deer in the plot. I'll post pictures, and if and if you would subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated. And also leave it a comment comment section below. That would be great. And I will tell you if I get a deer in the comment section below. So, um, if you watch this, just give it a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Alright, so this is it. Country Kid signing out. See you later guys.